Hi, this is John with Bank Account Bonus Central, and today's video is all about churning fire. So this is a different type of video I'm making this time. We are talking about financial independence, retire early. I've been a fan of the fire movement for a while now, just haven't actually mentioned it on any videos yet. But um, yeah, what is churning fire and how you can easily profit? So talking about a different alternative method to the fire method, which is uh, this guy right here. So super excited uh, to share this video with you finally, it's something I've been working on for a long while. All right, so I do have a quick disclaimer before jumping into too many details. So I'm a customer of the company's products mentioned in this video. I'm not affiliated or endorsed by any of them. This is my own personal review for informational purposes only. The information in this video is current as of time of recording. These videos are not short, but they are profitable. Use this information at your own risk. Does not mean you're gonna get approved. This is called fishing and not catching. And as is everything in life, your mileage may vary. So these videos are profitable. I do have a $4 million goal for the year 2024. I want to see at least 1,000 people make at least $4,000 each from these videos in 2024. So if you can appreciate profitable content on a consistent basis, do me a favor, hit this video with a huge thumbs up. Appreciate that. All right, so the words financial, independence, retire, early, mean a lot to a lot of people it means a lot to me uh so i can picture my i'm a high school math teacher so last day of work retirement here i come i can definitely see myself running out of the schoolhouse when my final day of uh working as a public school teacher uh, is probably four to five years away from now i am definitely excited about that because being a high school math teacher is not easy uh, goodbye pension, hello pension. Well, I'm not retiring with a pension because the teacher retirement system is, um, they want me to work between 12 to 17 more years and I don't have that in me. So financial independence, retire early. I'm a big fan. All right. So there are three stages of retirement and this is something I saw, which was uh, actually I heard on a retirement uh, radio station, uh, radio program. And, um, this is, if you're curious about retirement, uh, there's three stages. The first one uh, they called go-go, which is, you know, you're going full tilt boogie. Nothing's holding you back. You're fully active. And then sadly, you see slow go, which I know that's not an older person, but you can definitely tell the difference between the go-go and the slow go. And then finally, the saddest one is the no-go, which is uh, maybe, uh, this might be a little bit dramatic for that, but you get the point I'm trying to say. Go-go, slow go, and no-go. So... The whole goal of FIRE, financial independent, retire early, is to be able to enjoy your life while you're still in the go-go stage and in the slow-go stage, but before you're in the no-go stage, I mean, which is not really fun. I'm dealing with that with my mother right now. Uh, so, I'm, as I said, I'm a high school math teacher, and, you know, jokingly or not jokingly, I asked some of my students right now who are um, seniors are supposed to be graduating, I said, Who's going to graduate from high school first, me or you? I mean, I got four to five years left. What about you? You know, you got 12 next to your name. You're a senior. I mean, but you're not doing much during your credit. So, um, yeah, so I definitely consider FIRE, financial independence, retire early. I definitely consider that. Um, my retirement, I don't know if I'm actually going to throw a hat in the air, but, you know, I'm definitely going to enjoy some vacations. So definitely looking forward to seeing this uh, at the retirement party and uh, God willing, four to five years from now. So retirement, they're um, talking about the fire movement. There's different flavors of fire and, you know, looking at different uh, resources about this. And, you know, the first one you hear about is called fat fire. And fat fire is something I'm definitely not interested in because you want to maintain this, this, this high level of uh, spend, you know, that's the champagne and caviar, you know, make as much as you can so you can spend as much as you can. And I'm a high school math teacher. My wife is a stay at home mom. She does homeschooling for two teenage kids and... Yeah, that, that's not appealing to me. The next one you hear about is lean fire, which also does not sound good to me on account of, you know, how much can you cut back? Okay, well, you know, I'm not really interested in that because, you know, wife and two kids on one salary plus what I'm doing, I'll make, making money off bank bonuses and YouTube and stuff like that. I mean, there's only so much you can cut back on. So this is, you know, this is more for the people who are like single and instead of buying a car, you're riding your bike to work and you know, stuff like that. I mean, 
uh, yeah, that doesn't really appeal to me. Barista fire is where, you know, you retire from your, your main job, but you're still having to clock in somewhere else, and you're working at Starbucks for the insurance, for the health insurance or whatever, and once I'm retired, I'm, I'm done. I'm just doing my thing, and I, I have no desire to clock in for somebody else. So um, that's why I'm looking for churning fire and wanted to, to teach about churning fire in this video. So what is churning fire? It is a different breed of what we're doing on this uh, channel, and it's it's bank account bonus central fire. I mean, we're going to talk about churning fire. It's it's a different mindset than the other ones. Uh, it'll probably be most comparable to uh, like the lean fire and barista fire, but you're doing something different because you're you're taking advantage of different opportunities uh, with that. So the problem with retirement is most people, sadly, they just live paycheck to paycheck and they don't save much, if anything. I mean, if you look at the savings rate in the United States, it's rather uh, anemic and people are trying to, you know, by the time you get to retirement, you're trying to see how many different ways you can save money. But if you don't save money when you're younger, it's gonna be hard to live on a budget because you won't have much to live off of. I mean. There's two layers of, uh, or there's two uh, times in your life when you want to consider uh, your money. The first one's your accumulation phase, is where you're collecting money and you're investing and you're watching it grow. And then you have your second phase, which is distribution, where you're living off what you make. And you know you don't want to just be cutting up the same $20 bill or $100 bill. You know you want to have something accumulated before you can have it distributed. So we're on a tight budget and most people are not on a tight budget and you may say, well, I don't like the word budget. Well, that's perfectly fine because it's, it's just a word and, you know, a budget, I agree with 100% what Dave Ramsey says about budget. Budget is telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went and, you know, if you call into Dave Ramsey and I love Dave Ramsey, I went through his program, debt free, you know, house paid for, cars paid for, everything, schools paid for in my life, so I'm debt free and, you know, you wouldn't want Dave Ramsey to have this type of reaction to um, your plans in life. I mean, it's, you know, a budget is telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. And we still have plans and, you know, intentions with our budget. I mean, highly recommend uh, The Richest Man in Babylon. It talks a lot about that. But one of the reasons why people don't save is because the media, they have one job to make you discontent with what you have. I mean, as I said, I'm a high school math teacher and ask kids how much they spend on their phone and hey I, I spent 800 or a thousand bucks and this is literally what it seems like I mean I got a Android spend 50 bucks on and it can basically do everything that and uh, that iPhone can except for you know you send a message and you get a response that says emphasized whatever you text you know people are too lazy to text back but you know there's different things on Android you could say without actually responding with you typing the the, the letters so um, yeah, the goal of the media is to make you discontent with what you have. I mean, so we'll run with that. There's two parts to finances. You have your first part, which is your offense. That's your accumulation. accumulation. It's, it's how much money can you bring in. It's scoring points. Uh, and the interesting thing is the kid hit the home run, but his score didn't go up. Uh, anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. Is offense is scoring points. It's scoring money. It's bringing money in. Defense is preventing money from going out. You know, hey, I want to spend money. No, it's not within our budget. Uh, when we were, uh, when I was studying to become a high school math teacher, it took me three tries and 900 hours to pass the content exam for becoming a high school math teacher. I mean, I'm not a math major. I'm a business major. And I took two math classes, statistics and pre-cal. Uh, pre I passed both of those with A's, but it was years um, after then I decided to be a math teacher. And you know, uh, one of my goals once I finally got my uh, uh, my contract to be a high school math teacher said I want to, I want this five thousand dollar rifle. And no, no, no. Paying off our house, I had to say no, 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 because we wanted to pay off the house. And you know, sometimes uh, being an adult, having a budget means you got to say no. Um, I definitely recommend EveryDollar.com. People watch all sorts of cat videos on YouTube, and this is the only one I think is actually funny and worth watching. So. This cat knows what's up. Hey, you know, money's to be... There's three things you can do with money. You could spend it, and we all do a really good job at spending it. You can save it, which we don't do as good of a job, and you can give it away. If you only spend your money, you're going to be broke. If you only save your money, you're going to be greedy. Uh, so you got to give money away to, 
you know, show yourself that you're not just the center of your own universe and other people have, and it helps you put a proper perspective on money. So finally, what is churning fire? Well, churning fire is, here's the cool logo. So yeah, um, churning fire is taking advantage of outsized opportunities offered by banks, credit unions, credit cards, and other means to make a lot of money without much effort. Basically, it's, it's being able to double and triple your efforts. I mean, uh, it's churning fire is adding a new type of asset and an asset's what you want in your life. It's something that makes you money while you sleep, but you want to add that to your portfolio of what brings you money. We can only work so many hours during a day or a week or a month. So you can only make so much money from your efforts at your job. And sadly, you know, jobs are tiring. I mean, even Captain America here after clocking in, it's like, here we go again. I mean, we all feel like that from time after time. And, you know, I definitely feel like that maybe too often as a high school math teacher. It's like, oh boy, here we go again. What is today going to have in store? I mean, last week we had uh, the campus next to mine that uh, my program is connected to. They had a lockdown because somebody was threatening uh, kids with a knife. We had a kid last year, he overdosed on my hallway and he wasn't wearing ID. So nobody had a clue who he was. I mean, what else do we have? to, uh, you know, what, what surprises do we have? Um, I'm asking you to understand that this guy does exist and he loves giving away money to new customers. Bankers pay money for new customers. Not only do they pay it, they love paying people to become new customers. So understand that this is a really cool opportunity available for you out there. So looking at Chase and their business or their um, personal checking account, what is a new customer? And I ask my students, hey, what is a new customer for Chase? Like they'll say, well, it's once per lifetime. No, it's not. Um, there's a lot of banks that will actually pay you to become a customer over and over and over and over again. You know, a lot of people, they get lazy in regards to their banking because they think, okay, I switched my direct deposit to this place. So I'm just going to stay with them forever. Well, a lot of banks, they don't pay you to be a loyal customer. They pay you to be a new customer over and over. Uh, so this is straight from Chase's website. It says you can uh, offer, you know, new checking bonus is not available to existing customers or those whose accounts have been closed within 90 days or closed with a negative balance in the last three years. You can receive only one new checking account bonus every two years. So you can literally become a new customer every two years with Chase. With Bank of America, it's every one year. With Wells Fargo, it's one year. Um, after you shut down your account, you got to set a timer for one year. And there's so many other ones. Uh, Hancock Whitney, it's every other calendar year. I mean, there's so many of these that we talk about on this channel. Um, uh, only one bonus per account, you know. So they literally pay you not to be loyal, but to open accounts over and over. Um, it's called churning. Uh, banks will pay you for your direct deposit. I use my direct deposit as its own side hustle. So literally, it's like you can almost auction off your... Your direct deposits you can look for different opportunities and hey uh 600 bucks for direct deposit well vero is gonna pay me 600 dollars for three direct deposits hey i will take that uh truest is about to pay me 400 dollars for direct deposits america's christian credit union 400 dollars uh, american express personal checking 300 for two direct deposits hey i will take that all day long it's not exciting to get your paycheck because that's expected but if you can get a 200 300 400 bonus for your paycheck on top of that that's exciting that's what churning fire is all about is making you know taking opportunities the bankers offer and running with it taking that investing in stuff that makes additional money uh, made a full video here do this before your next paycheck to make an extra five thousand per year link to that video here if you haven't checked out this video yet talking about hey um, set up your direct deposit treat it like its own side hustle i i sit there and just send it from one place to another to another to another and you know it takes me about four minutes to do so is it effort sure but if i make two three four hundred bucks that's a lot more than i make um just as a high school math teacher um it, it it's exciting to get extra money just for a direct deposit which is something typically you get anyways so credit cards they offer huge sign-up bonuses for spending a certain amount of money on a certain amount of time and one of my absolute favorite ones the most profitable one it's literally like money shooting out of a uh, out of an ATM, and it is fun to get you know seven hundred fifty, nine hundred, a thousand dollars for uh, spending, which you don't even really have to spend. So 
I made a video all about this uh, recently about US Bank business checking bonus. You can open up a business checking account. You can use a credit card to fund $3,000 into that account. You can use a credit card uh, for another $3,000 to fund a savings account. That's $6,000. Um, if you pair that with Chase Inc. cards, which offers a $750 to $900 bonus for spending $6,000, well, you just got that. And then that money is just in checking and savings accounts. You can pull that money out, pay off the card, and voila, you have an extra um, $750 to $900. So full information on that is right here at this video right there. Uh, moving along, brokerages, they give huge bonuses for opening accounts and transferring funds that you have invested anyways. For example, Moomoo, they will pay you $405 to open an account using my referral link. And then basically they will give you 8.1% for not investing your money. It, it's literally, you're, you'll make 8.1% um, to have your money in their sweep account, which is, I mean... 8.1%. That's a beautiful return. You don't have to worry about, you know, something happened. The market sneezes. It goes down by a lot. And you see your value of your portfolio go down. But to have your money make a guaranteed 8.1%, um, that's really nice. So link to that video is right there. Uh, Tasty Trade. I don't know if you ever heard of them. They offer bonuses of up to $5,000 for moving your investments over to them. That is a huge bonus. So Tasty Trade, they are have an investment account bonus of up to $5,000. This is a nationwide offering, so link to that video is here if you haven't had a chance to check out that video. How do you keep all of this organized? John, you're a math teacher. You love spreadsheets. You live and breathe spreadsheets. Cool. How do you keep it all organized? How many bank accounts should a person have? Well, you shouldn't have more than what you can uh, keep track of. I go through my full... Um, spreadsheet system and it's like if you can understand driving a car and you understand red light yellow light green light then you can understand how many bank accounts you should have red lights you're looking at different opportunities I make videos three times a week sharing the best nationwide opportunities out there so you want to look at some of these videos and figure out hey what can I do what can I make money off of so you put that in your red list it's red because it stopped yellow means hey um, caution you're going you open up the account and there's something you got to do. You got to switch one direct deposit or two direct deposits or three direct deposits or you got to do debit card transactions or you got to do something or you just got to wait. And then finally, the green category is you've collected the green and then you move on. You know, the goal is to move from red, which is stopped to yellow, which is proceed with caution because there's still something you can do or not do to lose the bonus. And then you move to the green column. So. Um, I don't remember if I said, but link to that video here if I already didn't do that. Um, I make an end of year video showcasing every bonus I make. My goal is 10,000 per year. So if you can imagine making 10,000 per year, which is really not that hard to do, um, taking 10,000, I've been doing this for seven years. And as of now, there is no shortage of uh, bonuses available out there. Did I get my 10,000 goal? Well, sneak peek, yes, I did. I shattered the goal. I made a lot more than 10,000. So if you can take, make an extra five, 10, 15, $17,000 per year and put that into investments, that will help you, number one, get retired earlier. And number two, it'll help you stay retired earlier. So that is the whole premise of churning fire. Um, so if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, definitely I advise you to subscribe, check out the videos. I make new videos um, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, God willing, around 5 p.m. Central. I ran out of the these things here, so this link to the video will be at the end of the video where you can just click directly on there. Um, so how much faster could you retire with supplementing your income with huge bonuses paid for by this guy on a consistent basis? And it's fun to get paid by this guy over here. And just watch him just flinging out money. Banks, they pay out money because they have huge advertising budgets. Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Capital One, U.S. Bank. All these banks are big name banks. Then you look at the smaller banks and stuff like that. And it's exciting to get this pay, this guy to, to throw money at you. But what's even more exciting is having two of them. When you can stack bonuses, two high and three high, and sometimes even four high. When you can stack a referral bonus on top of one bonus, on top of another bonus. And that's when it gets really exciting to where you're, 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 I mean, it, it's fun. It's exciting. Um, yeah. So 
we'll just leave that as it is. Bank account bonus central verdicts. Banks pay you big money for new customers. Why? Because they need to show that they've got new customers and it doesn't really matter if they're new new customers or used new customers. Uh, no matter if you're a new new customer or used new customer, you're profitable to the banks when you open a new account. The more accounts you open, the more you'll earn. So this is uh, Bank Account Bonus Central where we're all about, you know, I love this picture of this uh, grizzly bear behind me with the salmon jumping straight in his mouth. And often that's about as easy as it is. I mean, you got to put yourself in the right position as this grizzly bear has and wait for the right opportunity. And when it does, it jumps right into your mouth. So that's one of my favorite pictures. And that's why this is my background in case you're curious about that. All right, so I still have comments off for these videos, but if you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms, you could always email me at churningadventures at gmail.com and I will get back to you in a rather timely manner. Um, so today's question, what conclusion did the wisest man come to about life? The wisest man ever was King Solomon, wrote a book called Proverbs, which is some of the wisest sayings ever, and he proceeded to do the exact opposite of all of them. And then he wrote the book of Ecclesiastes talking about how he regretted not listening to his own advice. But what did he say? Ecclesiastes chapter 12 says, Let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is man's all. For God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing. Well, that's scary, uh, whether good or evil. Um, sobering. But the good news about that is Jesus paid the penalty for sin. What is the biggest problem man has? It's sin, doing what is not right. Uh, additional information about this, gotquestions.org. If you're interested, get right with God. Link in the description box down below. If you're interested, um, if you're still here with me, definitely appreciate that. Like the video if you appreciate profitable content on a consistent basis. Share this with anybody who would be able to benefit from it. Subscribe with bell notifications so you could be amongst the first to learn about such profitable opportunities. And with that, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace and may God bless you.